ladles and jelly spoons, bugs and grubs, potatoes of all ages, it's time for a stream, a Tuesday night stream, here in the DP Dome, I am your old mate, DP, and this is the Wizard of Oz, our main save for Football Manager 2023, we kicked off in my hometown of Adelaide with Adelaide United FC. We won the A-League finals. We won the Australian version of the FA Cup. It was pretty cool. Cooler than that was John Yam Dragons in South Korea. Never managed in South Korea before and we conquered hard. Uh, K-League 2 victory, K-League 1, Korean FA Cup and an Asian Champions League title which was enough to secure us a gig in Europe. In Italy, in fact, with Palermo FC in Serie A, Italy's second division. We couldn't get out of it, we were stuck there, so we took off to Germany uh, with the mighty Arminia Bielefeld. We had a great time, a uh, number of years there. We won the UEFA Europa Conference League, got promoted to the Bundesliga, a couple of German Cup finals, a Europa League final, and now we're in England with Newcastle United FC. It is our fourth season in England. We've got a Europa League campaign ahead of us after failing last season. Anyway, uh, we're in Europe. We can cross that off the to-do list. Next on the hit list, win the European Champions League. That's what we're chasing. And we're going to keep on going with the brand new season right here tonight on The Wizard of Oz. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope you've all had a great day. Mine was uh, interesting. So I did the work thing. Work is work. It's all good. I I've made an app. All of my, I made two, in fact. One of them I sort of started yesterday and finished it off. It works and it's great. Uh, more to do on it before it's ready to, to go. No, I, and it's a work app, so don't get too excited. Uh, the other thing that happened, I ordered some shoes about a week ago. Bit of drama with shoes. Uh, so uh, I ordered them, they were getting delivered today. Uh, I was checking my like postage app, which tracks everything and tells you when it's arrived. Didn't get a notification uh, and then randomly checked it about three o'clock this afternoon uh, and it said it had been delivered. Uh, went outside, no package. What the hell? Uh, sometimes, because of where I live, stuff goes next door. So popped around there, checked at their front door, nothing there. Came back in, checked the app. There was a picture of like, hey, the posties left it here. There's a picture of it, open that up. And it should have been tucked behind next door's plant at their front door. Just a normal house plan. Again, don't get too excited. Uh, so I've gone over there, uh, looked around a bit more in case it had shifted or someone had stashed it somewhere else. No joy. Uh, searched all around the place. No sign of the package. I'm freaking out. They weren't cheap shoes. Um, could not find them anywhere for love nor money. Got really cranky. Winched about it to everybody. <laughs> uh, jumped on the, the postage app messaging uh, Australia Post, our main postage company here in Oz. I'm just like, hey, what the hell? A, you delivered it to the wrong place. B, I've gone over there to grab it. Doesn't exist, it's gone. Thinking someone's made off with my new shoes. Um, and then I heard stomping around next door. This is about 45 minutes later, because the walls here are paper thin. They can probably hear me talking to you now. Uh, but I met the next door neighbor, Matt, great guy. Um, and uh, they had the package, so I was able to bring it in and uh, was very, very happy with my purchase. So it all worked out in the end, but it was a stressful 45 minutes or so because I thought I'd thrown a, a good money away and I was gonna miss out on my shoes. And the shoes are awesome. I can't show you them because they're on my Tootsies right now, but they're friggin' Deadpool shoes. Hell yeah. And the shoe box, I could have shown you the shoe box, but it's over there behind the couch. Can't be bothered going over there. Uh, my phone's going off its head as usual, put that on do not disturb. Thank you very much. Uh, the Deadpool shoes, the whole shoe box is covered in really good Deadpool art, uh, like images of Deadpool, which is cool. As you might imagine, I'm a bit of a Deadpool fan, so that's right up my alley. Then you open the shoe box and like the like tissue paper type stuff that covers the shoes in the box, that's all like Deadpool comic panels. It's super cool. I'll show them off in the next stream on Thursday night. I'll get it all looking spick and spare. I might even put some pictures up in the Discord. Um, totally useless, totally pointless. They're just a pair of shoes. I'm a 42 year old man. I shouldn't be, the, or nearly 42. I shouldn't be this excited about shoes, especially shoes branded with a, a comic book character 
but I am. They're fantastic. I took a walk in this afternoon. Super comfy. I'm very happy with my purchase. So overall, really good day. Uh, also, we're sitting in 8th place after 3 games with 5 points. We've had 2 draws and a win in the league. Not the best of starts. We were dead and buried in this game against Norwich. Uh, we were, I believe, 3-1 down after taking an early lead. And uh, off the bench, uh, Delacorte has scored a goal to bring us back into contention. And then Gil in injury time with an assist from a very tired Norberto Haas has equalised for us. Um, it was not our best performance. As you can see, some very low ratings. Fogden was awful uh, in that game. Our new winger, Parente, didn't show up. Pedri was ineffective. Sousa was ineffective. We just had nothing in attack. And I suspect maybe that was a touch of tiredness because these games were pretty close together. Uh, and given Pedri's older, Parente's 29, maybe a bit more rotation, maybe not playing these guys until they're exhausted might be the solution i don't know what we're going to aim to do tonight is get through all of these games if we can so sunderland not as far as west brom chelsea whoever these clowns turn out to be in the third round of the mickey mouse cup and aston villa we may not get through them all um because i'm kicking off a little bit later than usual i apologize i got distracted by parks and rec yet again love that show it's funny as hell if you haven't seen it give yourself an uppercut um but yeah, let's we'll see how we go. We're comfortable favourites, be wary of complacency. I agree. Uh, Della Bassic is talking to the media about us. I don't know why. We pretty much ran him out the door. Hull want Ryan Bain on loan. So do Leighton Orient. Groiners uh, reporting on Werner. He's getting good. And they're telling me to get more scouts and stuff whatever um, what I might do actually as silly as it sounds if we go back here team selection advice I'm gonna go with it and we'll rotate a little bit why the hell not I don't want to get into a game now that I've told my shoe story it was important that you all know that that's what you show up for what's going on with DP's footwear situation the people need answers and now you've got them you're welcome uh, you're gonna go over here, you're gonna go here, you're gonna move, yep, that's all good, yep, yep, move down here, left, right, burp, burp, uh, and I'm gonna put Bruce on the bench, because he's trained really well this week, 8.15, I would said he'd need to catch my eye, and he did, I was looking at his screen, he was in the 8s, he's up there, he's trained better than Petrosco, Petrosco had an awful game, He's earned his spot. Um, I'm a little bit worried about Delacorte here after a good outing not being on the bench, but I don't know. Peter, Peter Bruce is exhausted. Well, that's why, isn't it? Delacorte's happy about the bonus situation. See all this morale boosting right here? They're all happy that if they win stuff, they get some moolah. Delacorte taking miss out on this one, even though he's a hero in the last one. It's fine. Because we do need to get some game time into Terry Osborne as well. Darrington, train better. You're never going to play for us, but I mean, train better. That's all I'm asking for. Plus, that second best trainer. That's a good sign. Uh, he probably won't make 90 minutes in this match against Sunderland because he was he had nothing in the tank um, in that last match and it's only been like a three four day turnaround if memory serves I don't know I could find out it's right here 14 so it's a bit long he might be okay we'll see what happens I'm feeling apologies I'm feeling a little bit gassy I had my dinner probably ate it too fast I was distracted because again watching Parks and Rec. Um, Chinese food though, really good. Honey chicken, some sweet and sour pork. Not good for the diet situation at all. Absolutely ruining it, but hey, it is what it is. Okay. We're ready to play against Sunderland. Uh, yep, do that. 
and for the next match only, we will tackle harder and probably pick up a red card. Why not? Uh, what do you want to be? Do you want to be a winger? Do you want to... He wants to be an inverted winger. But I don't really want you to be. Because Panicardis is a fullback, so you need free reign to do whatever you want. So yeah, I'm going to stick with the winger. Rente's preferred position is inside forward on attack. And that's what you're going to do. I have toyed. Here's my thinking. Bad time to do this right before kickoff because it would affect uh, familiarity. We might change it from the next match onwards. I'm thinking the attacking midfielder here, rather than a straight attacking midfielder, if we look at the uh, the details of the, the role, right? Higher up the pitch than a standard midfielder, so he cannot uh, drive in the space from deep in the manner of an attacking central mid, uh, requiring excellent technical and mental skills, which Pedri has. His role is to fashion chances for himself and others in the final third before the opposition defenders reduce the time and space he has to make the play. Uh, support duty tends to sit the hole rather than get into the box. So he's not going to be bursting in the air and banging in goals, but he's going to sit back and, uh, and do the job. Here's my thinking. Trekatista, or Trekatista, ah, I want to read the thing. Uh, can operate in attacking midfielder or centre forward position, so he can kind of bounce back and forth, which suits him. Similar to the advanced playmaker, the anchor dropping the holes between the opposition's midfield and defence, Trekatista does far less defensively, simply just around looking for space when the team's not in possession. Such rest of the team is carrying when defending, but uses the main outlet when attacking, only available on attack duty. We're not relying on Pedri to defend at all. He's 35, 36 years old. But, uh, so go on attack. Craft some opportunities for yourself. It's a tweet we're making. The Trekatista is what I'm thinking, and set up Delacorte to train as Trekatista. Just a creative force, free reign, supporting the striker. He's got support from the wingers, midfielders behind him, and the attacking players in front. Uh, bash chances, do all the things, is what I'm thinking. I have surely had worse ideas than that. It's not a, a player role I use often, but we've got a young up and coming uh, up and coming attacking midfielder who could learn to do it and it's shown he's got some talent about him. Um, we've got a super experienced guy to share his knowledge and ability to do it. It's not his best role, but I think it's a role we can perform. So I'm, I'm picking the idea around, I'd be interested to hear anybody's thoughts about switching to Artista, having a fancy man behind the striker, basically. That's the that's the idea. So courage, lads. We want to dominate these guys. We're going to keep an eye on the foul situation. Once we hit five fouls in the first half, we're going to turn off, get stuck in. And it's not going to take us long by the looks of things. There we go. I do not want to risk yellow cards. Here we go. Free kick. Who's taking it? Wolf. Launches it. He wasn't a million miles away there. It was a decent effort from our backup left back. He, I believe, ended the season with a higher average rating than Santiana last season. We're not creating a lot of chances. We've got a lot of possession. Let's go positive and open this up. Oh, God. Push out. Close him down. No shot. Ferrante's done really well. He's got miles of space in front of him. No one's moving across to close him off. That deserved the goal. What a run from Ferrante. Out of nothing. Looks like they're willing to run it out of defense. I think Ferrante's a little bit more willing to run than they are. Switch to positive. I'm worried maybe we've done that too early, but I mean, Ferrante is looking like he's determined to redeem himself today. There he is again. He's picked up that ball in our own half, passed it forward. Here's Pedri now. Plays it across and nails at home. That's his first goal of the season. We get to bust out the boys and the trumpets. Do, do, do. Lovely stuff.
I thought he was going to pass it across the face, looking for Hosh, but he did not. He's just ran it in and beaten the Mohawk goalkeeper. I'm okay with it. One nil, praise lads. Can we pinch another one before half time? We're on the wrong side of the pitch for Parente to steal the ball back. Oh dear, oh dear, we've made a mess of that. Flags up though, he's offside. But lads, come on, wake up. I'm not having that. I'm gonna move my face cam up a bit. I'm gonna let you lot see. Uh... Oops. Let's just do, do, do a couple of key strokes, get it right on the edge. And now you lot can see the uh, the old Bari bar down here. How do you like that? You're welcome. Planet. Susa now. Star player from last season. Panicardis. Average player from last season. But a very good right back. He's been, for the most part, very, very reliable. Which is what I like to have in a fullback. Even better than that, a fullback, he gets like 20, 30 assists a season. Pedri's in again. Pedri's got a brace. In five minutes. Right before half time. What a goddamn hero. All we did was change him to an attacking role. I'm a genius. Tactical genius. Hey, FM playoffs, stream showdown. Give me a call. This week I look forward to. What is going on with stream showdown? Is there any news about that? It hasn't happened for it. Not that I'm going to be taking part in it. Those guys don't even know I exist. Uh, but I like watching it. And they've only done one this year. Back in January, I believe. Or was it before that? Was it even this year? I don't know. I'm assuming Dr. Benji's just... Don't want to do it. Uh, I'm happy with how we've dominated possession. Pump the fist. Let me pump the fist. Outstretch arms in. There we go. Get everybody in the green. Lovely stuff. If we can get a goal in the Hosh, I'll be super happy. They are going to come at us, so we'll look at uh, dropping back from positive short. That was very cheeky from Pedro Sousa. Trying to chip the keeper at the angle. Nearly got away with it. I mean, he got away with it. Nothing happened to him, but he didn't score the goal is what I'm saying. You knew what I meant. Don't play dumb with me. Sprinting! Fires it across the pitch to Monsieur Wolf. He just stands there. I think he forgot where he was or what his job is. He seemed very confused. In the end, he remembered to pass the football. There we go. He's, he's cleared his cache files and he's good to go. Oh, that's cheeky ass from Hosh. Question of offside, it did look a little bit iffy in the engine, I'm not going to lie. We'll wait until we get confirmation one way or the other. Ah, it's unfortunate. I mean, he's offside, but it's a very classy finish. Look at this. One touch, side foot, doink. We're going to be looking to make some changes sooner rather than later, I think. We're going to do it now. Patino, before he gets too tired, he's going to come off. For Mr. Vikert, swap these guys over. And you want to be on attack. So do that, my friends. Um, Gil can't really play box to box midfielder. He can play advanced playmaker, so I'm going to let him do that. We're just checking out fitness levels. Like it with corner into Parente. No joy. 70 minutes. Parente's had a good game. It's time to unleash a Boyd Vern. Um, Wolf's been pretty quiet. We'll get Santiana on for him. That'll do for now. We've still got two changes up our Salim. 
Changes haven't gone through yet for the latest changes. We know Varkut's on the pitch because we watched him take that corner. Can we fashion another chance here? Cesa, up to Pedri. He's on a hat trick. And he's got his hat trick. Pedri. Give him the toots. Three goals, three Pedri goals. All very, very similar efforts, but he has had a very good time today. There he goes again, cuts in at the angle. It's taken a deflection, which is why that's beat the keeper, otherwise he's had it covered. But hey, he's had basically three efforts, three goals, job done. Take a bow, sir. Pass over the top, looking for anybody in a black and white shirt. Couldn't find anybody in a black and white shirt. Down the blue one, not really what we're going for. Panicardis finds Santayana eventually. He does his best wolf impression, he just stands on the football for some reason. Gill, up to Werner, Santayana to Gill. Back to Werner, he beats his man, that's a lovely touch. He's got options in the centre, he bursts in, he's found Pedri. He has headed over. Couple more changes we can make, which we will at the 80 minute one mark. I'm desperate for Hoss to get another goal. Did you know what he's like when he doesn't score? He forgets how to do it. Are we back? I think we're back. Hey, we're alive again. Okay, that was weird. Put the bit right back up. Very strange. Uh, I did pause it once I realized nothing was going on. I don't know how much of that you missed or how long we were frozen for, but we are going to continue right now because I've got green lights. Ta-da! Apologies, folks. Here's Hoss. He's in! He's got his goal. That's what I was talking about just before the connection issues. I'm gonna give him a toot for that one. 4-0 against Sunderland. Boys are gonna party, of course, because Hosh is their favorite. Off his chest, boom. It looks like that was off the keeper's stupid mohawk. And now, we can make our last couple of changes as planned. Barry Osborne is gonna get a run. Uh, Parente, uh, sorry, Sousa staying on because he's having a really good game. Pedri's having a really good game. And I, I don't have an attacking midfielder to replace him with. Uh, Patrick Pancardas or Springsing? Uh, Springsing's going to have a breather. There we go. Done. Young striker, uh, young centre back. Coming on to do the footballs. Probably shouldn't have, but we've got a corner. Sousa launches it in, finds the head of Gill. He's headed just over. And Gill's had a good game too, which is nice. Burns doing well off the bench. Vikert's uh, doing okay. In injury time, 4 0 victory. That is more like it. That's what we want to see from this team. And that is what we want to see from this uh, attacking setup. Posh with goal, Pedri with a hat trick, Sousa with assist, Vern with assist, Parente had a good game. Happy DP. That's how we start Australian kids. Beautiful stuff. All the individual praise to go around. Individuals. You did well. Uh, you did well. Thought you did well. You did well. Elder playing at centre back was good. You did really well. Pino did well, Sousa, I mean, you did really well, Pedri, um, delighted, Parente, you did well, Hoss, pleased with your performance, Vika, you did well, and Werner, you did well. There we go, everybody needs a pat in the head, got a pat in the head! Huge result. Look at what that does. We were down here. I mean, yes, games in hand, blah, 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 whatever. 
but nice. <clears throat> and Sue's got man of the match, not Pedri. Pedri scores three goals. He's like, God, what do I have to do? We'll pass the ball, Pedri. You're 35. You shouldn't be running like that. That's going to strip like two, three games off the rest of your season. He's going to get that one-year extension, isn't he? Because he just scored a hat-trick and I'm going to play him every game for the rest of the year. Hoping he does it again. We all know what's going to happen. You've been here before. You know how I play this game. Ugh. Pedri forever now will be the hat-trick man. He'll never do it again. Crazy. There's been some big wins. United had a 5-0 win before the stream. Arsenal beat Norwich 5-0. Correa, former centre-back from Armenia Bielefeld, got in amongst the goals. United lost to Leicester. That's interesting. Nottingham Forest, who we play next, lost to City. Haaland scoring. Ancient Haaland at this point. And Chelsea keep winning and so do West Ham. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that has dropped us back to fifth position where we shall stay. I'm cool with that. We're in touch. We want to stay in touch. Incidentally, that Sunderland game, they're newly promoted. So, grain of salt. But these games, Sunderland, Nottingham Forest, these are the games for the law. Excuse me. I told you I was gassy. Beg your pardon, I apologise. Um, Sunderland, Nottingham Forest are the games for the last two seasons. We've been losing. Somehow, we'd get up and beat whoever was top of the table at the time. Um, uh, yeah, I haven't played 90 minutes, for sure. I mean, that was glorious. I don't want to sell this guy. They're offering good money for him, but we need him for Europa League registration. So he's not going anywhere. We're rejecting all offers for Bruce now. You saw it last night. They kept making offer after offer after offer. Uh, not just Barcelona, like other clubs. They kept rejecting him, and they keep coming back with exactly the same offer. It's baffling. Um, yeah, no, don't tweak the training for Nottingham Forest. We're going to do what we do, what we planned to do, what I am going to do is make a couple of tweaks because we don't have a match review and that's the thing we're doing and every week we're doing all the dynamic things everything that could possibly make a lick of difference to the morale and cohesion and attitude of this team we are going to do all the time especially match reviews We'll talk about match reviews because I know a lot of people might not bother. They used to always go in. They were always there by default. And then uh, SI have tweaked it. Um, but we'll talk about it. Here's why you do it. Boom. So in here, usually this would just be set to rest. And rest is great. Your fatigue's reduced. It reduces the, uh, increases the conditioning and the happiness of your players, but you lose a bit of cohesion and you lose a lot of match sharpness because your players aren't doing anything. They're just kicking back and chilling out, which is fine. That's what you want after a game. You need to rest and recover or you risk the injury. Um, so they're traveling here. Nothing you can do about that. Recovery greatly reduces the injury risk. It's uh, reducing the fatigue, slightly increasing condition, slightly increased happiness, which is a good thing, good attitude. Uh, less of a hit to sharpness, which is a good thing. Um, so then you can let them rest, but you're taking bigger hits here. And again, nothing wrong with rest. You need to rest your players. Do not work them three sessions every single day or your squad will be ruined. But after a match, do the recovery session and then do a match review because there is no negative impact to your squad ever from having a match review. Win, lose or draw, it's basically everybody sitting in a room. If you've watched any of the uh, All or Nothing 
football documentaries uh, after a big win, or usually after a loss. They'll show them in the meeting room uh, the next day, following a, a tough beat or whatever. You see it with Arsenal, you've seen it with the Tottenham series. Um, that's what the match review is. Watching the game tape, watching it back, having the manager yell at them or the assistants or set-piece coaches, whoever telling them, you did this, you should have done that, you did this well, you need to improve here, blah, blah, blah. Um, your tactical familiarity goes up. Everybody's understanding of their role, their job, what they need to do on the pitch. Mentality, passing, uh, or sorry, passing style, creative freedom, trigger press, marking, tempo, width, position, role, duty, all that stuff that's in the tactic that they need to know, especially for us, because this is a relatively new tactic, it covers all of that. And the team cohesion is increased, but there is no negative impact, no fatigue, no lack of sharpness, nothing. It's free. It's a free improvement in key areas for your team. Do your match reviews, put them in. We were lazy with it last season because I couldn't be bothered. Um, and then given that the poor runs of form that we had, the bad beats, everything else, it's like, no, we're going to do what we know works from our time at John Yam and Amigi Bielefeld. And this is why. Um, also, your team cohesion. Why the hell does your team cohesion matter? I'll tell you why. If you go to your tactic screen, here's your familiarity, right? That's overall. So, eh, click it. Let's stay up. No, can't point to it. Anyway, your mentality, marking, passing style, tempo, that's a good creative freedom, uh, is how much freedom they have creatively. Uh, how wide you want them to play, how often you want them to trigger the press and position, role, and duty. So creative freedom, position, role, and duty, that's all going to increase over time. Might not go any higher than where it is now, which is accomplished, and that's fine. That's to do with how I want them playing. I don't want everybody running all over the place. Um, and I don't want them roaming from position. I want them to, to hold their shape. But the other part is team cohesion which here is good. This is very hard to increase and improve when you're selling plays, buying plays, bringing new faces in, uh, everything else. We've got four social groups happening. That has an impact on cohesion. Two unhappy boys, that has an impact on cohesion. But the key thing is if you read this little text here, team's collective mental state has seen an improvement. This will improve, improve player positioning during matches. So all those times last season, I was screaming about Del Basic and Petrosco and Santiana and all those guys. Oh my God, what are they doing? What's he doing over there? We, team cohesion was down here somewhere. Uh, players will experience an improvement to their vision and reactions to events unfolding when playing. Less being caught out, less uh, completely missing passes, not being aware of what's going on. They're all gonna be switched on. They're gonna be talking, communicating, calling man on. Calling ball, doing all the things they've got to do. That's what your team cohesion is for, and that's why it matters. Anything you can do to improve this is a good thing. And also, managerial support, it's difficult to get that to increase, but the best way to do it, do it keep the squad consistent, minimize the signings, do as I say, not as I do. Lucas is in the chat. Sorry, Lucas, I was doing my tutorial thing. Uh, Lakers are swept, whoops. Dear, oh dear, Lakers. I told you they weren't going to win anything. Uh, Pens are up 3-0 because of Sergio Bobrovsky. is playing out of his mind. Also, the Heat win tomorrow. It will be the first time in NBA history. Both conference finals ended in a sweep. That is interesting. So who were the Lakers playing? Because I honestly can't remember who they were playing. <laughs> Ambrosino, couldn't get him. We tried, we had the money. Hey Sergio, 10 out of 10 for the under 21s. This Ream, who's this guy? Is he the guy I signed? No, he was a director of football. Yeah, fine, offer him out for later, I don't care. Denver, oh wow. So it could be Denver Heat. Yokish break the record for triple doubles in the playoff run. 
guy's done alright for himself, hadn't he? Pedri, Sousa and Gil in Team of the Week. Nice. One week till the transfer deadline. I'm still... I'm still toying with the idea of... Uh, bringing in another centre back. Offer made for Navari, 28 million. Let's play draft and talk about commercial with finals MVP. Maybe. Maybe. Who's this guy? Why do we care? Is that Real Madrid? Played two games with them. Uh, he's averaging 7.3. Averaged 7.2 for Ajax last season. I mean, he's done all right in bit parts, but if he brought him in, he'd be coming in over the top of Perry. No, Terry. No. I'm not going to a stupid recruitment meeting. I'd love another centre back, but the kind of centre back I want just isn't available. We can't afford them. As much as I hate to admit it. I mean, that guy's useless to scout for me. He's on loan, so we can't sign him anyway. Let's just get to the Nottingham Forest game, eh? And then we'll muddle our way through the international break. I think it's an international break. I'm pretty sure it is, because there was no match after the training that we were fiddling with. This one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they're in 16th, we're in 5th. We should absolutely win that game, but danger game for us. We have drawn all the Wolves from that football championship thing, what they're in. And honestly, we're gonna play a heavily rotated squad in that game, because got Villa two days later, and uh, the Carabao Cup is not a priority for us at all. I don't care. Nobody cares. Match tactics, match preview. We're not going to train that week at all all classroom stuff. The players are going to be so bored. It's going to be a busy week. Della Corte is injured because he's played too much football. Somebody keeps making him available for the under 21s and the under 18s. What a moron. Who keeps doing that? Why didn't you just leave him out of it? Anyway. Centre backs. Is what I was talking about. Uh, Onsens. I don't want to send him out on loan because he's Brazilian and we need to get him or we need, rather, we need to keep him here for all this time, so he's homegrown at club. We're planning for the future. He's a diminutive wigger. That's a nice way of saying he's short AF. Where's his height? Hundreds, I'm taller than this guy. Not substantially, but I am taller than that guy. He doesn't have bags of potential, but He's fine, and he was dirt cheap. He was like two and a half million, and was a decent prospect. Hey, we just got free money. In the Europa League league phase, that's not confusing to say at all. So, we have got to play Montpellier, Inter, Dangerous, Leverkusen. Beat them last season, Champions League, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Uspest, don't know who they are, but their coefficient rank is 475th. I think we'll be okay. Uh, Akromitos, Akromitos, eh, Rangers, I heard of them, uh, Partizan, heard of them, and Basque. So they're, they're decent mix, and I'd say we're ranked uh, a little bit higher than most of them, so decent league draw, I'll take it. 
very, very uh, strong prospects of a progression and I'm saying that really weird. It's fine, don't, don't think about it. All right, don't you worry your pretty little heads. Uh, yep, that's all fine. It's Montpellier and we'll talk about match tactics before the game. Beautiful, and then here, yeah, we'll go tactical. Uh-huh. We'll have a match review here, thank you very much. And over here, we'll do the match tactics before the Arsenal game. Lovely, yes. Team selection advice. Yep, you do that. We are favourites. We're away from home. It sucks. But hoping we can get a result. Fix the bench, DP. These guys are tired again. Ah, uh, I need to stop making them available for silliness. I really do. Should we rotate? When's the next match? 28. We're not going to rotate. It's going to be fine. We've had enough of a break. These guys are professional. Not this song. It's full of F-bombs. Get out of here. Much better. Bloody, bloody, bloody epidemic sounds. I did a survey this morning. I was having my morning coffee before I started work. Uh, for epidemic sounds, who provide all our royalty free music here. I pay for the privilege, but you know, needs must. Uh, asking for improvements, and I was like, yeah, you should have a filter so I can just play songs that are, you know, don't have F bombs all the way through them. And are uh, family friendly. Can't stress this enough. I'm not approved. I'm not streaming. I swear like a really sweary sailor, but I don't want to do it online because some people don't dig it. I mean, most people are totally fine with it. And I get that. I don't have a problem with it. But content wise, I don't need to see it in the chat. And I don't think anybody needs to hear it spewing forth from my mouth while I'm playing a video game. I get angry, I get upset, I get frustrated. And the other night, after what had been a really difficult week in the save, i got to say, streaming-wise, the way those results were going, I absolutely let an F-bomb go. Two of them. Within about ten minutes of each other. Um, but I'm not proud of it, and I was a little bit dirty on myself for doing it. This guy looks alright, he's Italian, he's playing for Brighton. He had a good season last year, but he's only ever had one. And I'm not interested. On your space bike, mate. If he hadn't signed a new contract, we could have signed Ivan Pollard right now. But he did sign a new contract, and they removed his minimum fee release clause. And now it doesn't matter because I don't want to play with a uh, two-strike system because I've invested in an attacking midfielder. So, you know, you get how that's happened, right? Uh, Nunes, get up here on the bench for Monsieur Petrosco because you're going to get a run today, me mate. Yeah, you are. Everyone else isn't fit enough, which is disappointing. Let's go play a football game. Where are we at? Fifth in the table. So if we win this, that'll take us to 11 points. Back up here or hereabouts. Lots of other teams playing as well. We'll see, we, we'll see how we go. Next match only. Do that. Do that. Uh, yep, I'm happy with that. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Come on. First time this season. Two wins in a row. Let's make it happen. 24 games in, it's certainly not panic stations, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, pump those fists. Fist pump. Regular show. Uh, Lucas knows exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, if you've never watched Regular Show, 
I don't care how old you are. Check it out. It's fantastic. I should say that every stream. Everybody should know about it. Let's go. And final space. Carriage boys, we're right from home. I know we're playing Nottingham Forest, but it's us. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We haven't scored yet. What the hell? Turn it off. End stream. This is ridiculous. We don't need to keep the crap out of them anymore. I picked up two yellow cards in the first, three yellow cards in the first 16 minutes. That's not great. Here we go. Pedri now, on the attack. Here's Haas, plays it across. Looking for Parente. He's headed over. Uh, how are we doing for possession? Pretty well. We've got another attack here. I'm pondering pumping it up to positive. That's a ball over the top. Hosh is on side. Hosh has scored. The flag is down. I'm calling it. That's a goal. Shut up, referee. Shut your filthy face. Yeah. I'm giving him a toot for that. Toot, toot. Bust out your goalie boats, kids, because that's the thing what happened right there. It did. It was a golly olly ol. Doink. Didn't even take the one touch. He's just let it run. Hit it first time. Scored a goal. I thought Santiana had put that in then. My word, I wish he had, that would have been awesome. Redeem yourself. There they are, Lucas has busted out the goal emotes. Love it, love it. Juliano's injured, he's picked up a, a little knocky knock. Not good, we're gonna have to make the first half change here. Oh, bloody hell. Bogdan's missed that completely. Right, we are are going to make this change and that eliminates one of the icash we've got. I'm going to play Wyker and give him a bit more of a run. Uh, it's a Mazala on support and we need to get in training to do that too. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with two yellow cards in the fence and I'm a little bit disappointed in Santiana for picking one up so early. It leaves him pretty hamstrung. If you unpause the game, it works heaps better. There's another free tip to go along with the match review stuff. That's two in one night. You can uh, mail your thank you cards to the usual PO box. It doesn't exist. Win that header. I'm not sure if we did, but we've got the football. Elder, out to Santiana. Parente plays it through. Look at Pedri, finds Hosh. He's done it again, the flag is down. Again, we'll say it to the referee, shut your fat, disgusting mouth. We know a goal when we see one. Don't even do. Yes. Two nil. Two goals for Hosh. And an assist for Pedri. He's done it first time. I'm sure Hosh has had two touches in this game and he's got two goals. Just keep giving the ball to him. He's, he's in one of his moods, is what's going on here. He's like, thank you! Doink. <laughs> no deflection there. Just posh being awesome. Happy DP. And we didn't tweak anything. We didn't switch to positive. We left well enough alone. So, you know, we got that going for us. Great stuff. They've got the football. I don't like this at all. The guy's name looks like it says commercial. It doesn't, but it looks like it. Pedri with a crunching tackle. He's gonna play it through. Looking for Hosh, who's rounded his man, shoots from range. That's nah, probably a bit silly, but he's on a hat trick. He's gonna shoot from everywhere because he wants his third goal. He's like, if Pedri can do it, like, check me out. This is my bread and butter, kids. When I'm in form. 
When he's out of form, he can't hit the side of a barn. But when he's in form, he does this nonsense. Ladies and gentlemen, I suspect Norberto Hosh has decided he's going to show up this season, or at least this stream, or this game. We're about to have an international break, and traditionally, he sucks after having a breather. But he doesn't suck today. That's his third touch, or fourth touch, third goal. He's ruined his average for this game. What a monster. But, you know, he's having a good time. Uh, we are going to make some changes because this defence is in all sorts. Nunez is going to come on to play some defenderizing is what's going to happen. What foot do you play? Right, okay, cool. Uh, so that's all good. Uh, and we're going to bring Wolf on for Santiana. Because let's face it, we don't even really need a defense in this game. Famous last words. I know. Uh, and that'll do for now. I was going to take Patino off and give him a rest, but we're heading into an international break. Who cares? Uh, praise the lads. Three goals up. Oh, you know what? I just got his hat trick. Have a seat, sir. You need to push yourself. Werner, Sergio, Werner, Sergio, Werner, Sergio, Werner, Sergio. Um... No, Frente's an old man. Sergio hasn't really played yet this season. Let's pause it. I want to check out average rating. Sergio is averaging a 7.5 off the bench. Werner is averaging a 7.3. Parente stays on. Sergio's on. Changes are made. And that'll do. Win the header. Let's get Hodge another goal before he gets subbed. Let's give him four. I dare you. Oh, that was poor from Wolfie. Oh, Wolfie. Oh, Wolfie. Nunez. Hey, look at that. He passed the football. Viker. Three to Hosh. Nearly. It looked like he was offside there. He was. And that's his last contribution. But, hey, job done. He got an assist from Patino, Pedri, and Parente. And I love it. I love everything about it. Let's go positive for the last few minutes. We're three nil up. What do we hold back for? No more goals in this one, but a few minutes for the youngsters. Decent run for Nunez, which I like because I want him to get good. Beautiful ball, finding uh, Parente with buckets of space. He's still got some legs in him. His Viker. Plays it across. Look at Terry Osborne. No joy, but Parente's in. Oh, that was just wide of the post. And he was offside. He had everything. Inaccuracy. Poor timing. Yeah. You love it. You love to see it. Everybody's pretty tired. Keep a clean sheet, lads. Don't do anything dumb, Fogden. Two very good performances in a row with what four and three is seven. Seven goals in two games. That's not friggin' bad. Send him off, ref. That was a cynical foul. We know you're blowing the whistle in a minute. Why are you dragging out this highlight? We're not going to score a goal here. The pointless highlight. Hosh is a hero. We went from three yellow cards to three goals in the blink of an eye. Outstretched those arms. Nice work, everyone. Hosh, just... You're the man. I love it when he plays like that. When he's garbage... I'm less happy. But when he does that... Happy camper. It's a beautiful thing. A firing striker. Seriously. In terms of football manager. Doesn't get any better than that. 
that is a good result. And we are still undefeated this season. We're only second in the league. But we're undefeated. Arsenal have got a game in hand on us. But we're undefeated. Tottenham have got two. But we're un why did Tottenham have two games in hand already? What are they up to? They must be playing qualifiers or something nuts. The Europe stuff. Leon is injured. He's only out for a couple of days. Hosh gets another pat on the head for being awesome. We go to the press conference. We talk to the dudes. And there we go. Tech dynamics. Dynamics are excellent. Managerial support's gone down. Oh, we're winning. You suck. Uh, team cohesion has gone up. Thereby proving my point. You can all suck it. We've got one less. What's your problem? You want to start more games? Patino, chat to this clown. Yeah. So. I'm not going to set him out on loan. Impacts up, no. Occasional opportunity, no. He's not a squad player. Have more game time, it's fine. I know we're making a promise, but. I am going to adjust this. But there is this very, what? It's happy with the amount of game times we get. Well then, I, 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 then what was he sucking at me for? That's annoying. We got West Brom next, who were inexplicably in eighth place in the league. Times at 9.30. So, Norwich and Leicester have played out a boring arse draw. Tottenham and West Ham have played out a boring arse draw. Harlan's in the goals again. City have beaten QPR. And West Brom beat Leeds. So, that's why they're up in next place. Because they're winning games. Yeah, you're for them. Weird result, Tottenham and West Ham drawing. I'm cool with that because it means they didn't jump us with their uh, gamage in Honda. Although well, Tottenham still could, so we'll see what happens there. Lethal form last season, 22 goals and 44. He wasn't in lethal form. He went missing for large chunks of the season. I'm glad you're happy with him, Shay Gibbon, but you should be calling him out. We'll get 200 grand if Yasser Espria plays another game for Ajax. How's he going over there? How you doing, mate? Oh, whoops, I'll just... There's a volume button on my headphones. Baffling stuff. There we go. And that isolates the volume change just my headphones, I believe. That's nice. We've learned something today. My headphones do a thing. All right. Do, 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 do. Uh, it's match analysis. There's two games in a row that the other team's attacks were completely negated. XG's of like under 0.5 both times. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I do. Uh, United have beaten the Villa of Aston. Crystal Palais and Liverpool have drawn to all. And Sunderland, New Arsenal have also drawn. But a pack of dual weeds. But good for us. The mission this season, stick with that leading pack but as long as humanly possible. This guy's 18 is not good enough. But this guy could be 19 to 27 million pounds. 
plays in midfield on the right wing is Belgian, but we won't have that against him. He's a dead set wonder kid. And how old is he? 19. Talk to his Ajon. Hey, I'd like to sign him. I'm gonna make an offer of I'll spend 15 now. And I'll add in instalments, two instalments, another 10 million onto that. And I will give you 10% of the profit made in next sale. What say you and let you say we're a greedy bunch of jerks. Let's just take it down a notch, shall we, kids? Let's not go crazy. I mean that's 30 million, we're paying over the odds. But we get to spread the cost out, which isn't too bad. And it's dead set one kid. A legit one, not like these lousy fake wonder kids. What position does he play? <laughs> he can play midfield, he can play defensive mid, which is handy. We can teach him to play centre back potentially. And he can play on the right wing in a pinch. Cool. Yeah, handy. He might not come in handy. It's true. But you could be great, could be terrible. He could just go straight back out on loan to a club in England. Start Negotiation, squad player. I'd rather you're a breakthrough prospect. How do you feel about that? Okay, you're a squad player. Uh, no. Uh, no. Good boy. Till the end of the season. Yeah, I'll loan you back. You'll keep playing. That'll be good. I don't really have room for him in the squad. I can't really use him. And, yeah, he needs another season under his belt. He needs to do better than that or we'll bring him in and sell it. Because <laughs> I'm a monster. Loan backs, don't be afraid of loan backs. Unless you like lower league and you desperately need them. Like we've got Parente, we've got Souza, we've got Werner, we've got Sergio. We're okay. We're not signing him because we desperately need a body in those positions. We're signing him because I want one. He looks all right. Do I need more reason than that? I don't think so. I don't think you should judge me for it. Quite frankly, I think we're out of line. Transfer window slave. Shut up, media. Oh, it's going to have to sim. Stupid deadline day right here. The director of football is going to lose his mind and try to sign all the guys, isn't he? Whoops. Osh in the team of the week because of course he is, he's a hero. Why wouldn't he be? Uh, it's Klein. Eight deals so far. Do we raise on eight players? I know I signed a couple. Excuse me. A couple of youngsters, that barely counts. I mean, we still spent a ridiculous amount of money, but we brought in a huge huge amount of money over 250 million pounds or just under one of those but big money like we single-handedly got the club back up to about a 200 million pound balance at one point in the summer and then I bought a player for about a million so that undid that but Ilya Zabani has been sold and we get 25 cool as a cucumber FM bucks, free money, free money. I mean, for anyone who's like 35, though, we should be selling those clauses before they reach that point. 
just take what we can get. It doesn't really make a lick of difference, does it? I don't think we can make it, but I would really, really love if at the end of the season, we could have a positive balance because the work on the stadium expansion is supposed to start and that'll mean more moolah. And if the stadium expansion stuff happens, the next step from there should be new stadium. Not that I'm desperate for this club to leave St. James's Park because I get the history and everything else and it would know, be a little bit sad. Busy days anticipated with a lot of big name deals expected. Man City, PSG and a host of other clubs expect to make moves. Newcastle's Rebecca Hosh has been the subject of free speculation recently of potential moves to Manchester City for a fee of around 104 million. Never gonna happen. Elsewhere, PSG has said to be interested to make a move to sorry, Mikhail Bond from City. Leon linked with Mohamed El Amdawi. Move to Victor Valencia, Newcastle, Peter Bruce. Bruce is going nowhere. Victor Valencia, I would absolutely sign, but I can't afford him. I mean, we probably could, but. Not doing this deal as well. Are we really linked with this guy? Why are we linked with him? I mean, he's been pretty good, even in City's poor seasons, he's been decent. But I've got Parente. So just, no. And no one's going to put in a bid for Hosh of 104 million. If they do, I'll just go buy Ivan Pollard. So... Play registration window closes tonight. Our registration fine. Norwich have made an offer for Philipson. Uh, reject. You can't have him. Ha ha ha. Okay, Bruce rejected. Alberto Hodge's player of the month. Congrats, sir. Love your work. Dedicated it to me because he loves me. Love you too, buddy. Uh, third place in manager of the month. Makes sense, two draws, it sucked. Uh, and Terry Osborne is doing good things in training. Keep it up, son. We need to keep getting him game time off the bench, and he's going to start in the Carabao Cup. All the young uns are going to start in the Carabao Cup against championship opposition because I don't care about the Carabao Cup at all. Some of the youngsters, if they can do a good job, um, we'll get a run against some of those dodgy teams in our Europa League games as well. And probably the FA Cup. In the early rounds, anyway. Application set to Frank Boyer. Hey, Badoon is in. Welcome to Newcastle, young man. Except you're not. Because, uh,. You're off on loan. Bach to Anderlecht. Get out of here. Welcome to the club. Bog off, mate. Send him on a language course. Learn to talk. Go to Frank. Frank. No, Frank. Frankie. Frankie. Oh, we've got to do our Europa League registration too. So we've got to find out if all my wheeling and dealing has actually been worth it. He, you don't want to go to me. Don't go, mate. It's fine. I'm not doing this for the rest of the bloody deadline day shenanigans either. Whoa. No offers for Hosh because there never is an offer for Viker. Twenty nine and a half million to Monaco. He wants to go. I 
don't really want to lose him. What did he cost me? 15. So we double our money. I don't have Boyer available to fill that hole in the squad, so we would need to buy a midfielder. And the other problem is Viker, I believe, yeah, homegrown in England. I can't do it, mate. Sorry. You're stuck with me. Rejectify! Get that snag out of here. No vodka for you, Monaco. Go and eat a taco, Monaco. I know they're not Spanish. It's fine. Who's this dude? It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Uh huh. A B from the board, a B from the supporters. Not a C. Interesting. Yeah, these social groups are an issue. Not a huge one. So we need to fix this. These guys need to play. Alright, that's not too bad. It's only Fitzpatrick and Harewood who need to... need to move up the line there. Who are our young goalkeepers? I need the names. No, I don't. Training. Uh, units. Yes, that's already in there. We got any other goalkeepers? No. Yeah, okay. So mentoring. That's done. I'm gonna add a group. Which is just gonna be for the a goalies. Boom. But why can't I put his dad in there? He's in the training unit. What the hell? I'm not moving into the senior squad. You know what? Beg get about it. I didn't mean it. Training. I'm sorry for teasing you. Come on, sim faster game. I don't want to do a transfer window anymore. Uh, continue manager. 2023. All action. All the time. If you like staring at the same screen. Because DP's too cheap to get an upgraded PC. The dude I work with has got an old PC, which is an absolute beast of a thing, looking at the specs and stuff, that he's not using. So we're pondering working out a deal where I uh, can acquire it for my own nefarious means. Um, and I'm still toying with the idea of upgrading bits and pieces of these two ancient boxes, sticking a new GPU in, all that sort of stuff. So we'll see. We will see. I don't know what the connection issues were about earlier in the stream. No idea what's going on there. But, um, you know, it all, it all seems to have settled down a bit now. We're doing okay. No more drop frames since then. It's a plus. Right, that guy's done his thing. Focus update. Scanning update. Yep, that'll look glorious. Thanks for that awesome info. I'm really paying attention to it. Since line deal. Rejected, good. Good to know the director of football is not a complete maniac. He does occasionally reject some stupid offers. Oh, something's bit me on the arm and it wasn't me. Ah, excuse me. So I'm just getting rid of notifications on my phone while this is doing whatever the hell. Come on game, hurry up. I'm wearing Deadpool shoes. You've got to work faster than that for me. Uh, yeah, do move him, whatever. Deadline is gone. See, look at that, 110 mil, a bit over, but that's it. We brought in way more money than that. We had a good summer. I'm really happy with the business we did. 
legit. The top deal was us selling Louis Bailey to Real Madrid for 75 million. A 40 million quid loss on that. Um, no, you're not going to Sevilla. I need you here to help with squad registration and you know, maybe play some football. Maybe. I don't mind ruining his career, it's fine. <sighs> Jacob Palombo is still bouncing around and people are still playing money for him. We had him on loan all the way back here in our good old uh, Armenia Bielefeld days. But he was doing good things for Dortmund's second team. We got him on loan and he was terrible. He's gone back to Dortmund, never really broke into their first team, so buggered off to the Netherlands, where he kind of got good. Went for big money to Tottenham, had a good season, and then went off the rails. And now he's at AC Milan for 60 million pounds, or 59, you can see it on the screen. I don't know why I'm running out. Well, they paid 850 in loan, so it's 60 million for all instance. Hey, it's not that good. Wow. Europa League Reg. Uh, auto select. How are we looking? We have nailed it. Except, why can't I get Delacorte in the squad? Because I've got an extra homegrown club player. Who isn't Frankie Gant? Busted. Get out of there. And then we can get Delacorte in. And that is awesome. No one who matters is missing out. Nice. You don't need to be registered. You don't need to be registered. You don't need to be registered. And that is glorious. We nailed registration. Fixed uh, and Delacorte gets to play some European football, which he missed out on all last season, which sucked. So he's play in the second half after the January window because we missed plays on. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be on the telly. Oh, Shane, what are you getting hurt for, you deal? You could have had a good run of games coming up, you maniac. Damn it. Look, someone's bit me on the arse. Driving me crazy. Ooh. We have made it to a Septemberino. See, and now I've got a decision to make. 4-4, four, four, Georgia and Ireland. What a weird game. Good one for the neutrals. I want to play the West Brom game, but it's a new month. We could start the next stream going through September. You get where I'm going with this. We might be wrapping it up in a minute, kids. I know it's only been an hour and a half-ish. I've already said no to this song once, so... Get out my face. Get out my ear face. Digging this. Found a new band that I like. Well, not a new band. New to me. Uh, check out Foxborough Hot Tubs. They're great. Yeah, move Fifey. He ranked the 6.2. Why are we even talking about this clown? Bit him off. Why do I know the name Tommy Hughes? Because we had him at Armenia Bielefeld. The right side of the bit of. I remember he, he was crap too. 
that right. Who did we have? We would have had... It was two and one. So we would have had... Siong up front and probably Sahel Goy at that point playing on the right wing. If memory serves, it might have been back. We might have still had Pollard. At least for a little bit of that period. We've got seven days for this game. You can all play 90 minutes and you'll be fine. You're going to love it. It's going to be great. Patino helping out Spine. We got a Kiwi. Look at that. Bogdan has had an absolute nightmare for England and they've gone down to Serbia. Bogdan. How he is the England goalkeeper, I have no idea. He's not that good. That might be the mission. If we do well this season, if we've got a nice big chunky transfery type budget. We might go shopping for a ridiculous goalkeeper. We'll just sign like the best keeper in the world. Unless it's fogged in. Then we'll get whoever comes second because we'll, we can be pretty sure they're probably better. It's just that Fogden's ratings and stuff will be inflated because we're in England and he's the England goalkeeper. Which we kind of just fell into. Remember back when I sent Fogden out on loan for a season? Because <laughs> I hated him. <laughs> uh, I still hate him. Uh, you look good. Can't afford you. You look good. Definitely can't afford you. The under 21s have done a football and won a game. They're also undefeated so far this season. Awesome stuff. Terry Osborne scoring a goal. Peter Bruce. Scott. This is what I'm talking about, son. Catch my eye. Impress me. You're going to get game time. Uh, he's going to play here, which means he's probably going to be unfit by the time we get to our next game. Stephen Cloak Brindley. For England under 21s has a score to brace. Well done. Joe Middleton has banged one in. Nice. And Jack Walsh played one whole minute of football, which means he probably played less than a minute of football. Scott thought B Liverpool. Grudge match of the century. What is, come on, Scunthorpe, you can do it. I know you can. Most of their players will be on international duty. This is your chance. Believe in you, Scunthorpe. Knock out the Scousers. Come on, Scunthorpe. Oh, so close. I've missed an opportunity there. You let me down, Scunthorpe. You let me down. Broke my heart. Hell you out for another three weeks. Sergio's injured. He is out for two weeks. So Della Corte is gonna come in the squad. Cause again. Patch comes out and Peter Bruce comes in. Can you play on either? Nope, you can only play centre back. What about you, Cristiano? Can you? Yes, you can play right back. Beautiful. Do the for true. There we go. Problem solved. Uh, Philipson, you want to play a little bit of football too, don't you? Yes, you do. You cheeky little monkey. Oh, that's cleared all the injuries out. So, sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. How we got four days? Go play 45 minutes. You can go play 90. You can go play 90. And you, I mean, you're available for 90, but you're probably not gonna play. And you know what? You go play 20 minutes. Keep yourself busy. Trust 
Tosco's really fallen out of favour at the moment. Probably because last season he was kind of awful. Oh my god! I'm joining. We're halfway through September already. Buster said sparkles. Sparkled. There's a twilight. Yeah, most of our guys. Did pretty good. Why was Nunez playing? Because I told him to. Damn it. Right, you rest for a day, 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 you rest for a day. You rest for a day, you rest for a day. Fuck, didn't do it if you want, I don't care. Uh, you rest for a day. Eh, actually, don't rest for a day. Damn it, why are you gonna be like that game? I didn't click on anything, you jerk. Yeah, you guys are fit, so you can rest. You can't because you're not fit. You can because you're not fit. Training, rest, four a day, and there we go. Shouldn't rest the burner, he's fresh. You heard me say it, You and then watch me do it. Elder? is coming along. Happy with that signing. Well done, Director of Football. He's a good pickup. He's versatile. I like a bit of versatility around these parts. Yeah, yeah, versatile. Yeah, yeah. And it's not an attractive face I just pulled. Not at all. Not that I have an attractive face in general, but it did not help matters one iota. I apologise that you had to witness that. Just don't look in this corner of the screen. Just look over there. Is it over there? No, over there. That's where the game screen is. On this side. Everything's oriented in stream to where I'm looking. Which you'd think it'd be easy to remember because it makes sense. It's not. I'm pretty dumb. Speaking of Elder, I've already just I've just blown him up for that. Give him a pat in the bum. Praise be to you guys. Woo -woo, good job. Dynamics are uh, still excellent. More or less. Squad. Gills in, which I'm cool with. Ooh, tweaks want to make against West Brom. Not really. I kind of want to go as full strength as possible for this one. Leeds have beaten QPR in a battle of cellar dwellers and West Ham have beaten, have beaten, have beaten Nottingham Forest, which is not a surprise. It's the day before game day. All eyes on Northwest Derby. Uh, they're saying Petrosco and Elder out wide, maybe? Let's do the press conference real quick, and we're going to wrap it up, because I'm not going to play this game, ever. We're ending this series. No, we're not. I'm kidding, we're not ending the series. Uh, so they reckon Elder out there, get Petrosco into the squad, which I can kind of get behind. Uh... I think it has. I'm going to keep kids on Panicatus. going to have a breather because his condition is low. Yeah, I said it. We're doing it. Um, the hell am I talking about? This dream, because we've had a pretty good run. I only, we only played two games of football tonight, which is really weird, but we finished off August. It's taken forever because of the transfer window and stupid international break. If we've hung around this long, Kind of your own fault, but apologies. Um, next stream will be a decent one. That'll be on Thursday, where we will play West Brom in the Premier League. Uh, two Europa League matches against Montpellier and Inter. Uh, three Premier League games, all at home. Uh, except for that one. I'm a liar. I'm a filthy, dirty liar. But no, all three Prem games 
uh, home except for this one, which is away against Chelsea. Uh, Wolves, Aston Villa, you can see who we're going to play. It's right there on the screen. It's going to be awesome, is the point. It's going to be friggin' great. That'll be on Thursday night, and then on a good old Saturday at some point, we'll get all the way through October and November for sure. Uh, and then depending on how crazy I feel, we might even just do all the way up past Christmas, get ourselves to January. And then on Sunday, we'll do a bunch of this nonsense. It'll be great. I've got a plan, see? It's, it's not all freaking ice cream cones and alligators in here. There's stuff going on, like buying awesome Deadpool shoes. I did that, it's great on my feet. I love them. I love them so much. It's ridiculous how much. I love my Deadpool shoes. Did that fix it? Yeah, look at that. We fixed the wage budget. We still got 70 million there. The club still got 69 million here, which isn't enough. We're going to go into the red. That's because I spent 30 million on the player. Isn't it? Yeah. 147 million in the hole by the end of the season. I mean, that's not great. You got any new deals? Couple of deals. Club partners, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And some of these finish at the end of the season. That's gone. Club membership. This general deal, whatever that is, eight year deal coming to a close. And then this is ending, so that should give us a shot in the arm. New kit sponsor. Cool. Anyway, we're stopping the stream. Don't let me talk about that stuff, jerks. How dare you. Right. We will be back, not tomorrow night, night after that, Thursday, for more of this nonsense. Uh, tonight was actually fun. Two wins. We're undefeated so far this season. We're sitting fourth uh, in the league. Yeah. It's all good. All right. I'm going to bugger off, kids. Uh, thank you for jumping on, having a look. If you watch live, you're a champion. If you're watching the VOD, you're amazing. You've literally got free time to be doing anything and you're watching a replay of this nonsense. Like, chef's kiss. Thank you. I appreciate it. But get in here and try to watch it live, especially when we're doing it in your time zone, which would usually be on the weekend. <laughs> doing it. I'm 12. All right, we're going to bounce, kids. Uh, thanks again, and we will catch you on Thursday. Until next time, I shall see you next time. Now I'm going to hit the button. We're going to go to the right screen, and I'm going to go watch uh, Parks and Rec before I go to bed. Bye, everybody.